Good morning, St. Thomas More. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Andrew. From the Gospel according to St. Matthew. As Jesus walked by the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who is called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. As Jesus said to them, follow me and I will make you fishers of people. Immediately they left their nets and followed him. As Jesus went from there, he saw two other brothers, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John, in the boat with their father, Zebedee, mending their nets, and he called them. Immediately they left the boat and their father and followed Jesus. Today's gospel speaks of the courage to follow and trust in Christ to overcome any of our fears that is preventing us. With that being said, I'd like to share the Footprints Prayer, which is an inspirational poem about having faith in God. I know that for many of us, we go through many challenging times, times where we often doubt our own faith in God. Also known as Footprints in the Sand, this prayer shows how God is always with us, especially in our times of need. It is thought by some that the person describing the dream is in fact Jesus. Just as well, we all sometimes struggle with our faith, so too did Jesus. In times of need, we must look back and see the footprints in the sand to realize that God is, has, and always will be by our side. Let us make the sign of our faith. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. One night, I had a dream. I dreamed I was walking along the beach with the Lord, and across the sky flashed scenes from my life. For each scene, I noticed two sets of footprints in the sand. One belonged to me, and the other to the Lord. When the last scene of my life flashed before us, I looked back at the footprints in the sand. I noticed that many times along the path of my life, there was only one set of footprints. I also noticed that it happened at the very lowest and saddest times in my life. This really bothered me, and I questioned the Lord about it. Lord, you said that once I decided to follow you, you would walk with me all the way, but I have noticed that during the most troublesome times in my life, there is only one set of footprints. I don't understand why, in times when I needed you the most, you should leave me. The Lord replied, My precious, precious child, I love you and I would never, never leave you during your times of trial and suffering. When you saw only one set of footprints, it was then that I carried you. St. Andrew, pray for us. St. Thomas More, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Happy or even giving joyful Tuesday, and a unique opportunity to make a difference. Friends, the Good Shepherd Centers provide person-centered health, housing, and human services in the greater Hamilton and Toronto areas to all people in need. Today, we can help provide food, shelter, and life's essential items to those who need our support right now. And today, on Giving Tuesday, thanks to two donors, all monetary donations will be tripled. Don't miss this incredible opportunity to triple your impact today and to go to www goodshepherdcenters.ca forward slash and click donate. Thank you, St. Thomas More. Have a Good awesome morning nights. I'm here on behalf of Miss Whalen to talk all things OFSA and today's buyout game. Um, the game today is at 2 o'clock on our field. It's a really big deal. Tickets, I believe, are still on sale via School Cash Online until 10 a.m. So if you haven't already done so, get your tickets. The process for getting into the game is the same. So hopefully it's familiar and there's not going to be a lot of challenges in understanding what I'm going to say. Tickets. Once you have your ticket, you come to the lecture hall on your lunch. Guys, stick to your lunches, please and thank you. It helps us with crowd control and we are still in the midst of a pandemic, believe it or not. 
Um, once you have your wristbands, after you, you can head back to your class, you guys will be dismissed at 1.40, okay? Your wristband is, again, your ticket into the gate. There are no in and out privileges, okay? We have had to say this at the gate a million times. Once you leave, your wristband is cut off and you are done, okay? There are bathroom facilities in the gates, within the gates, so you need to stay inside. Okay, it's how we help control the spread of COVID if it came to that. So there's a method to our madness. Okay, um, so again, come to the lecture hall at, or excuse me, on your lunches, get your wristband, go do your thing, go to class. Your teachers will dismiss you at 1.40. That's enough time to get dressed. Because I don't know if you guys have noticed, but it is a good old fashioned November football game out there. So there is snow. So please dress warmly. Again, there are no in and out privileges. So miss, I'm freezing to death. Miss, I have frostbite. I'm sorry, you're done if you leave the facility. Okay, so please dress warmly when you come into the gate. Um, again, so just to repeat, so I, there are no issues here. At, on your lunch period, come into the lecture hall. Miss Whalen and I will be there. We'll give you your wristband. Head back to class if, you know, after your lunch period. You will be dismissed at 1.40. Get dressed. See you outside. Go Knights Go. Thank you. Good morning, STM. My name is Athena, and here are your announcements for today. Boys trying out for the hockey team are reminded of the third and final tryout on Wednesday at 4 p.m. at Shadok. Anyone that can't attend is asked to see Mr. Popovic sometime today or tomorrow in room 330. A reminder that permission forms and fees are required to participate. Attention swimmers! This is a reminder for all prospective swim team athletes to submit your forms and pay the swim, swim fee via school cash online. Form, cash online. Forms and payment are due today, Tuesday, absolute latest, and the team is being finalized today after school. This message is from the robotics team. Today's meeting will be postponed until Thursday, December 2nd at 2.30 p.m. in room 320. Thanks, STM. Do you know what Christmas Miracle is? No, what is it? I know what that is. Okay, what is it? Well... Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. Fixing and fixing and all his reindeers pulling on the reins. Mr. G! And that's what Christmas Miracle is all about. Merry Christmas and don't forget to donate! Good morning STM, my name is Peter. I'm Samantha. And I'm Marissa and we're here from your Christmas Miracle. Christmas Miracle class sponsorships begin Wednesday. Sponsorship includes buying a $40 gift card as well as a hat and mitts for a child in our community. If your class would like to buy a Christmas Miracle sponsor, please come to room 151, the healthcare room, period one, according to the following schedule. Classes on the first floor can sign up for sponsorship right after announcements tomorrow. Classes on the second floor in portables can sign up for sponsorship at 8.30 tomorrow, and classes on the third floor can sign up for sponsorship at 8.45 a.m. tomorrow. Fundraising tins were distributed to all classes to help collect donations towards sponsorship for those who participate. All sponsorship gifts and fundraising tins are due on Friday, December 10th. If you do not want to fully sponsor a student but would like to donate, you can do so on School Cash Online under Chris's Miracle. Staff, please see your email from Ms. Sorenko with more detailed information. Please listen to tomorrow's announcements for more details about sponsorship sign up and get ready for Christmas Spirit Week coming up next week. Thank you STM from the bottom of our hearts for helping to make Christmas a little brighter for students and families in our community. Merry Christmas.
ISTM, those are all of your announcements. The time is now 8.22. Have a great day.